the best part has just arrived, Steve. The food trucks are coming in, and funnel cake is my favorite. That's the first one to come here, so we're super excited. Maybe they'll do a little test. Who knows? Might get lucky a little tonight with some funnel cake. Um, but there is a lot going on here, and organizer says it is a good idea for families to map out what, where you want to go. Your ticket's going to get you access to amusement rides, one of which you're seeing right here. Ten indoor venues, a silent disco, an art installation. The event is a year in the making, and people are excited for a big return. It's so much fun um, with the Ferris wheel and the games. I think it gives it's a very family friendly event. People are ready to toast the start of 2023 in the heart of downtown. It's pretty cool. The acorn they drop it twice, which is good. So one for the kids. We met this Raleigh resident minutes after she picked up her marriage license. That's amazing. Yeah. Tomorrow along Fayetteville Street, she'll be celebrating the new union and the new year. I'm so exciting. All of these things. Wallet Hub ranking Raleigh as one of the top 30 places in the country to ring in the new year. The capital city scoring particularly high in the safety and accessibility category, coming in fifth nationwide. The celebration will be the first large gathering in downtown since the tragedy unfolded at the Raleigh Christmas Parade. Organizers say there is a coordinated effort to keep everyone safe. They have an extremely detailed plan that we're very confident in and because we really want people to feel safe more than anything. The Raleigh Police Department is not releasing details on security arrangements in the interest of public safety but did issue a statement saying in part, the Raleigh Police Department, in collaboration with our city and public safety partners, is providing security for our annual first night event. The planning for this event started many weeks ago, and we are confident that there is adequate staffing to ensure a safe and enjoyable evening for all attendees. People telling us they feel comfortable. Sometimes we have those incidents and it happens, um, so hopefully everyone can be safe here. So the party will get underway tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and then we'll roll through midnight. We're live in downtown Raleigh, Elaine Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. My best advice, pace yourself. That's, that's right. A full day, right? 2 p.m., that's an early time to get started, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pace yourself. Yeah. Elena, thank you. <laughs>